what are the possibilities in this wide QRS tachycardia? Wide QRS tachycardia with a rate of around 225 per minute. Wide QRS tachycardia is to be taken as ventricular tachycardia until proved otherwise. Monophasic wide QRS complexes are seen from V1 to V5. V6 shows positive wide QRS complex with LBBB morphology. Similar morphology is seen in leads 1 and AVL as well. The QRS voltages are low in limb leads. Lead 2 shows multiple irregularities in baseline which could be dissociated P waves. The atrial rate calculated from the dissociated P waves seem to be similar to that of tachycardia rate though one can't be very sure as to the which irregularities are P waves and which are artifacts. Atrial flutter with 1 is to 1 conduction and apparent ventricular conduction is another possibility to be considered with a fast rhythm. But the usual rate of atrial flutter waves is 300 per minute unless the flutter has been slowed by some other mechanism. Presence of dissociated P waves is against the diagnosis of atrial flutter. Other types of supraventricular tachycardia with aberrancy of ventricular conduction are also excluded by the same feature. Discussion on very fast wide QRS tachycardia. Ventricular tachycardia is considered to be very fast if the cycle length is between 200 to 230 milliseconds. Saman S. and Associates noted that majority of inducible ventricular tachycardias in patients who have been reperfused early for ST segment elevation myocardial infarction are very fast. They noted that these inducible fast ventricular tachycardias have at least a similar risk for arrhythmia or death as inducible standard ventricular tachycardia with cycle length more than 230 milliseconds.